Hello guys and welcome to another installment of Mr. ACAT Tutorials. Today we'll be learning how to create oblique drawings using AutoCAD. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. And if you have any questions, also make sure you leave a comment below and I'll try to answer that question as soon as possible. So to do oblique drawings, we're going to work with a 45 degree angle, which means First, I need to go down here, use a little circle with this angle, the polar tracking. I'm going to click on the arrow right next to it, and I'm going to make sure that I'm able to use 45 degree angles. So I can use this one down here, or I can use this one up here. I'm going to go ahead and just click this top one for now. Next thing I want to do is, here's my drawing, you see right here. I'm going to go ahead, and I always like to start from the vertical line that's either to the furthest left or the furthest right. So in this case, I'm going to start with the one that's the furthest left. So we know that line is going to be three inches tall. Three, enter. When we're doing oblique drawings, all the lines that you see in an isometric drawing that are going down into the right, such as this one right here, those are all going to be horizontal in our oblique drawing. So let's go ahead and do that. So my hook space bar allows me to go to the last command. And that line is four inches. Enter. All the vertical lines stay vertical. So this line right here, I'm going to go up one inch. And up here is also one inch. So I made all this right here, all this, the width of all this just be one inch. So I'm going to go ahead go to the right over one inch. Again, because all the lines are going down into the right are going to be horizontal for an oblique drawing. And again, we have this line here is going to be horizontal. You see all the lines are going down into the right. All these three lines so far are horizontal. All the vertical lines stay vertical. Now here comes the tricky part. You see all these lines are going back into the right. These lines give this object depth. These lines are going to continue to go back into the right. However, they're going to be going at 45 degrees. I'm going to line. And if I use polar tracking, you see there's zero. And then it will snap right at 45. So it will click. So I know it's exactly 45. And I'm going to type in 2.5. And then again, you see this line here goes down into the right. So that means it's going to be horizontal. So I'm going to go across two inches. All right. So this slant here is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to leave it for last. I'm going to go down here now. And I'm going to go give this bottom part depth as well. So same thing for the top, 2.5, 2.5. So make sure you're doing going at 45 degrees. 2.5, enter, space bar, 2.5, enter, right, and we, we set a vertical line, say vertical, so I'm going to go ahead and just connect this right here. Now this line right here, you see this line right there, that little tiny line, that vertex, if I know this is 2.5 back here, and I know this is 1 inch, that means this should be 1.5. I'm going to go ahead and do a line right here. It's 1.5. Again, 45 degrees. Every single line is going back into the right. It's going to keep going back into the right, except at a different angle. It's going to look a little bit odd. You can see this line here is going down into the right, and it goes all the way until we hit this other face. So what, so what we're going to do, we're going to go all the way until we hit this other face. And again, it's going down to the right, which means it's going to be horizontal. So that's how we know we're doing it correctly. And then this line also should also be 1.5. And this vertical line, go ahead and connect these two together. All right, so this back line here, if this line here is two inches and this is one inch, that means we have one inch remaining. So we'll go across one inch. All I have to do now is connect that line up here. 45 degrees, you see that? Connect that 
down here, space bar, space bar, connect that line to this line right here. And that is my oblique drawing. Now more specifically, it is a cavalier oblique. Cavalier oblique means that the depth stays the same, 2.5, right? So we go back over here to mention these. Let me change my layer. So I'm gonna go here to dimension. This line should be three inches tall. The depth or the length of this object should be four inches. The depth should be 2.5 inches, you see. And the back here, this line here should be two inches. So it seems like we did everything correct. So again, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thank you for watching Mr. ACAT Tutorials.